Over at first with one away. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. And now it's going to be Edward Olivares. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Here comes a pitch. And that's in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Caught him looking for the K. Pirates leave one, and we are still scoreless. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. Figueroa back to work. To the right side. Alonso takes That's it to the bag. One away here in the fifth. Now back. The second baseman. Termar Johnson, Termar. the next to hit. Johnson. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And a foul ball. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. And that's a strike. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two up, two down. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Baguero measures six feet even, 220 pounds, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting oh. over 300 in his last 10 games. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He makes the grab, and that is that. Down in order go the Pirates, and we're still knotted at zero. Top six, now batting key Brian Hayes. Figueroa back to work. That misses, and it's one to know. And he grounds one to the right side. Arise. In plenty of time to first. One up, one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And that one fouled off. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Safe at first as they can't make the play. So up next, Brian Reynolds. And look Good out. Ball. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. That's a scary one when it's riding up above the letters. Looked to me like he just yeah. tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. And that one clips the corner. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And a swing and a miss. That's second out. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because we're going to get around the league in a hurry. Two on, two outs. Struck him out looking. And we're back at the play. Edward Olivares. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss.
Looking to get the tying run on base. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. And he swings through that one. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Got him looking. And two away to start the seven. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Termar Johnson will hit next. That one finds the zone. And that is strike one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And a pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Holding on to a one run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. The 0 2. That's a laser base hit, and that extends the inning. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Here comes the 0-1. And a foul ball. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The throw to first, and that is the inning. We're at the top of the eighth, and now the Pirates leadoff man, T. Brian Hayes. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. You know, these Pirates just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Got him looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. He swings and fouls one off. The Pirates trailing by three, and we're in the top of the eighth. Got him. And two away now. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. But why to kick the pitch? Hard hit, right side. He takes it on his own, and it's a one, two, three inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. Figueroa back to work. And first offering is fouled off. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Swings through that one for strike two. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being after 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's two outs away. And now it's Rowdy Telez. 
That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0 1. And a pitch. Into center. Drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. Last chance now for the Pirates. Up next for the Pirates, Edward Olivares. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. Throw to first is in time, and that'll do it. The Marlins get a shutout on the mound. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way finish line and 